Good morning and welcome to the channel. It is Christmas morning here at KTech. We've got a ton of parts for the Apex build. A few we want to show you right away. Let's check them out. Some of the carbon fiber parts for the ticked wing, the ticked splitter, and the ticked cooling system have arrived. This large box contains the Akrapovich titanium mufflers. We've got some tires, and what I'm most excited about is these wheels. These are KTEC KT1 wheels made by Forge Line. Let's open this box and check them out. I'm very excited about these KTEC KT1 Forge wheels made by Forge Line. They're finished in a transparent blue. They're going to set up the silver really nice and match the K-Tech valve covers that we have under the hood. The tires we're using are Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2, 285 30 19 on the front, 335 25 20 on the rear. That is the standard Z06 size and the standard tread compound for the Z07 package. Back in the car shop, Nick's been hard at work last night installing the engine, connecting all the systems. As you can see, exhaust system. ABS system, power steering, a lot of the radiator, a lot of the electrical system has been connected, installed. Awaiting some of the ticked cooling system parts. The supercharger is back together. It's been ported. The supercharger body and the snout have been ported. The KTEC 103 millimeter throttle body is on. We've got the 2.3 liter upper supercharger drive pulley swapped out and we've added a vacuum port here this is going to the boost reference switch that turns on the secondary fuel pump next reinstalling the fuse box which has to be removed to remove the engine The DSC Sport RT shocks have been installed. We've also got the DSC Sport suspension controller installed. The calibration that comes in it from the factory is for the stock shocks. Since we've changed to the Tractive RT shocks, we need to change the calibration in the controller to match up with that shock. We'll show you that a little later. I'm over here on hoist number four, the new hoist. Dan's got a Camaro that had a transmission issue. We sent it up to RPM Transmissions for a repair. Now it's back and he's reinstalling. All right, superchargers on. KTEC valve covers and coil brackets are getting all set up. K 
Okay, tech 103 millimeter throttle body is on. Supercharger lid is on. It's looking more and more like a finished engine. We've got a vacuum manifold installed here. This does two things. One, there's the boost switch that turns on the relay for the secondary fuel pump in the surge tank. It also sends a vacuum signal to the fuel pressure regulator to run boost reference fuel pressure and then uh, that vacuum source connects to uh, the uh, supercharger bypass valve that we showed earlier over here. Okay, as I mentioned before, we've got the DSC Sport suspension controller installed. It comes preloaded with the calibration for the stock shocks, but since we changed to the RT shocks, we need to change the calibration to the RT shock calibration. We can do that pretty easily with a laptop. It could be done via Wi-Fi, but since we've got the fender off, and we've got easy access to the USB port, we're going to program it using the USB cable. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to reset the board. The board is reset. That means we have a connection to the DSC Sport module. We've already downloaded the latest Tractive Shock file with the firmware update that was done in August. So we're going to go select that file. It's going to be the Tractive file with the firmware update open that, populates the file through the software I'm going to write all and it's now calibrating the DSC Sport module finished writing to the board, close, we'll reset the board once again, board is reset, calibration is in. That's it, that's all there is to it to reprogramming the DSC module for the different shocks, we're all done. We've put some button head screws in the holes where the APR wing was. It's not the most ideal fix but considering the time crunch for SEMA, we think this is the the fastest way to just make it more of a finished look. Um, ideally later, I'd like to come back and fill the holes and paint the deck lid, but uh, not able to do that right now considering the time crunch. Doesn't look too bad. Once the ticked wing is on, you're not really gonna notice this area because the new wing will sit about here. If you like this build, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.